Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this series of Secure Workload and Secure Firewall integration. My name is Jorge Quintero and I am a technical marketing engineer for Secure Workload and Secure Firewall. Our agenda consists of the solution overview, the use cases, the configuration walkthrough, and a zero trust segmentation demo highlighting the Secure Workload and Secure Firewall integration. Now let's talk about the motivation of the feature. But before I start talking about the integration and use cases, we need to take a step back and ask the following question. Where are the firewalls? When answering this question, we notice that there are multiple firewall points or enforcement points, each one with its own segmentation methods, tools, environments, and teams. For example, we have embedded host firewalls for Windows using either Windows Advanced Firewall or Windows Filtering Platform. We have Linux IP tables IP set, and we have AAX IP filters. There are also newer workloads constructs for container orchestration, for example, Kubernetes, and this can be self-managed or cloud-managed. We have virtual desktops environments localized in the data center. We have native cloud security constructs as AWS security groups. We have load balancers and ingress controllers, and we have firewalls. So this often leaves inconsistency across the, the network, and it also brings islands of silhouette policy controls. And here is where Secure Workload helps customers to solve the policy puzzle by having a common policy consistently enforced across all environments. It helps modeling the policy, performing simulation and testing, enforcing the policy controls, and ensuring compliance and monitoring. So, with Secure Workload, you can have a unified policy no matter the firewall form factor in use. It extends from the host-based firewalls, can be um, virtual machine, bare metal, or containers, to network-based, using Secure Firewall, for example, or cloud-native-based, for example, sec uh, AWS security groups, or using uh, cloud-managed Kubernetes services, and this is done regardless of the workload location, either on-prem or cloud-based. So for this series, we will focus on the network-based with Secure Workload and Secure Firewall integration. Let's move on the use cases of the integration. So the integration of Secure Workload and Secure Firewall offers an end-to-end -end protection, covering north-south, coarse grain segmentation, typically using at the edge far right giving it visibility and protection to the internet branch and campus traffic the east west can be provided at the data center firewalls either virtual or physical and provide coverage for workloads that cannot run agents or that the agent installation is not feasible and finally secure workload provides fine-grained inner application control at the workload level so we need to see this from a holistic point of view, right? From a holistic approach, starting with defense in depth, where application to application segmentation is done using software agents and macro policy, such as compliance policies, virtual patching, or golden rules is done on the firewall level. Also, we want to extend a consistent segmentation policy control. For example, only allow certain consumers from external networks to communicate with specific workloads without an agent or to enforce segmentation policies to application workloads where it's not feasible to install a software agent. So how does it look like from a holistic view, right? So secure firewall integration allows dynamic updates to firewall rules, for example, for internet, as well as end user traffic. It also provides this same internet and user firewall protection and inspection for workloads running where the secure workload agent is not available or is not possible to install. In this diagram, the communication that are protected by secure firewall are in blue color, right? You can see here, for example, the agentless control. And the ones that are protected by secure workload are in green, for example, application to application over here. Now that there, are this end, end user to application and workload to internet, which ours are green and blue, 
indicating that this applies to workloads with and without secure workload agent, right? So it can be protected regardless if there is an agent or not installed, right, over here. Now, let's go through the configuration walkthrough. For this, we will jump to our lab environment and we'll go step by step how to configure the integration. But first, let's talk about the high level architecture, right? How does it look like? So secure workload and secure firewall architecture consist of four ports. First, we need to deploy the ingest connector to consume nestle records for visibility from the firewall, right? This is for secure workload to get all of this nestle uh, flow information so we can produce meaningful application uh, segmentation policies. Then with secure firewall, you can analyze these flows from the policy compliance and automate the policy or orchestrator, right? If FMC is not directly reachable, you need to install a secure connector, right? So this is the step where secure workload will orchestrate the, the, the automatic policies that it generates to the FMC. An example of when you will have the secure connector is if you have secure workload as a service, right? If you have the SaaS installation. These policies then will be pushed to secure firewall as access control policies. Right? And keep in mind that because we're leveraging dynamic objects, only objects, uh, so the objects will be updated dynamically without requiring new policy deployments, right? So they will happen uh, almost instantly as they are updated. And finally, the application workloads with agents will receive the segmentation policies directly from secure workload. So now let's jump to our environment and let's start the configuration walkthrough. 